Hi, I'm Jesse, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about the Electric Wave Hands Free and Streaming Audio Kit. So, this is um, a pretty interesting device. It's uh, obviously this goes into your cigarette lighter, um, and then this pops out of here and has a, an aux port plug. So, here's how it works. So this part plugs into your cigarette lighter. It's got two USB ports, so, you know, whatever you're charging in your car, you can do that. So that gets plugged in. Then this goes directly into your car's auxiliary port. And then once you turn it on, it connects to the Bluetooth of your phone and is able to route the, the Bluetooth music into the device and out the port into your car to play music. So as you can see, the device has a little uh, pause, play, and phone button. So the phone button means that it has um, a microphone built into this, which allows you to do hands-free calling through this device. So what that means is wherever your auxiliary cable is, you know, wherever that plugs in, is where this is going to sit, and that's wherever the microphone is going to be. It might be a better position than wherever your phone is mounted, or maybe it's just sitting in a cup holder. Um, so maybe this is an advantage, but maybe it's a disadvantage. Um, do you think you're going to be doing a lot of hands-free calls um, in your car? That's totally up to you, but it does allow you to do that. And then when you're not using it, I guess you put it back on here and it charges the, the battery in this device. So I've been trying this for a couple days. I, I uh, leave this plugged into my, to my AUX port in my car and I'm able to Bluetooth connect to it and play music through it. So it definitely works. But I have a problem with it, and that is, what about charging it? Because to charge, I can't be plugged in because it has to go in here. So to charge this, I need to be basically listening either to the radio or uh, silence um, in order to charge it. I think it's kind of the biggest flaw of this device. Second problem I have with this device is that it can easily be replaced by just a simple aux cable. Any aux cable can do everything that this can do. So any eighth inch to eighth inch, you know, wire can plug this into your phone, plug the other end into your car, and you're doing exactly what this device does. Which makes me wonder why I have this thing that I now have to charge. I mean, I must say overall it sounds great. I think it gives it me a little volume boost, which is quite nice. Um, because my phone isn't the loudest, but I am having trouble understanding what the point of it is Especially once this battery I'm sure is gonna run out It says it only takes about two and a half hours to charge But there's literally no other way for me to charge this device other than putting it in my cigarette lighter and plugging that into uh, my car and Well, why? <laughs> I think it's a pretty uh, okay addition to a car, but let's face it if your car has an aux port uh, you're pretty much set in terms of music like it's not a big deal to go buy a seven dollar aux cable um, But let's go through this here. So for performance. I would give this an eight. I've, I've used it I have plugged it in played Bluetooth um, Listen to it. It's nice. It gives a nice boost to my volume, which which I very much appreciate However, sometimes and it's very rarely it's about once every ten minutes. It will sort of cut um for a fraction of a second. It'll cut out and you'll have that sort of classic Bluetooth speaker sound where it, you know, uh, the Bluetooth didn't quite work for that split second. Um, so that's why I'm giving it an eight instead of 10. Otherwise it absolutely would have gotten a 10. All right, so for features, I'm gonna say that this is a seven. Uh, the one thing that you are doing, the one thing that this does replace is plugging in your phone every single time you get into your car. Um, so if you don't like doing that, if you, um, you know, just want to leave it in your pocket, um, I don't know how you're going to start to play the music, but let's, let's say that that's not an issue. So I'm going to give it a 7, uh, mostly because I don't quite understand what the point of having uh, this cigarette lighter part of it is. I mean, obviously it needs to charge, but why not bring this part into my house, charge it, and then bring it back out to my car? That's the only, you know, because when, when I'm charging this, I can't listen to music. Um, unless I have an aux cable, but then why not always have the auxiliary cable? All right, moving on to quality, I'm gonna give this a 10. The quality feels excellent. The magnetic uh, thing right here, that feels great. Um, the USB ports feel great. Cigarette letter feels great. And the button on top feels pretty good. I haven't had much trouble with it. It connected to Bluetooth rather easily. So at the time of recording, this cost $22 on Amazon. That is with a deal, it usually costs $40. Um, I'm not sure if that's 
necessarily true or if there's always a sale that brings it down to about $27. So let's talk about value. This can be replaced by a $6 auxiliary cable. It costs $22. Is it worth it to you to get in the car and have this automatically connect? That's up to you. If so, then it's absolutely worth it and I would give it a rating of about nine for value. It's just exactly what it needs to do. It does a pretty darn good job. I'd give it a nine. Now, if you are the kind of person who wants to save as much money as possible and you know would be fine using you know, either a $6 or maybe free, maybe borrowed auxiliary cable, then I would say that the value would probably be like five or so. Um, it's, it's a luxury item at that point. Hopefully this was a helpful review um, of the Electrowave hands-free and streaming audio kit.